Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about Zoho Creator widgets. In a Zoho Creator page, you can write most of the HTML tags or include any CSS frameworks like Bootstrap and design your template view like an invoice template or a proposal template or project page. But when you want to include JavaScript to your HTML pages, it is not supported. To work around that, they have introduced widgets. You write your JavaScripts using Zoho's software development kit. Using their API, you can pull their data and write your own code using JavaScript, HTML, and CSS and upload the folder as a zip file to Zoho server. Zoho will host that file and embed that as an iframe in your HTML page. That's what widgets do basically. So we are going to see how to create that kind of widget. The first step is to install the command line interface. They have a command line interface called Zoho Extension Toolkit. I have already installed Node, NPM and Zoho Extension Toolkit, in short Z. So I am going to start from here. To create a project, I run this command Z init. So when I hit enter, it's going to ask me to choose a Zoho service. I will choose Zoho Creator of course. And enter a project name, something like Hello Widget. So it will create necessary files and boilerplate for me. We can cd into this directory, the newly created folder and look at the file structure. I use Sublime Editor for that. So it has like three folders and uh, several files. We are interested in only this app folder and whatever you write inside this app folder will be used for your widget. And this widget.html or you can have any files here, any HTML file and you can uh, set whatever your entry point is. For now our entry point is widget.html and here is the sample HTML file. To run this project we can run zrun command. I run Z run and the project is running at this IP and port. So under app folder we have widget.html, we access it and here is the file. This is a simple widget file. Now we are going to add some Zoho logic to it. For that let's look at their JS API documentation. First we need to include this CDN URL. So in our HTML file if we want to use any of Zoho creator functions we need to include their CDN URL which is this. So I will include this first. And uh, this is a typo, we cannot use HTTP, we will use HTTPS. And I will also include Bootstrap and jQuery. I'm going to call this hello world. I'm going to replace this world with the HTML pages parameter. We will dynamically get this parameter and then display it here. For that, I'll just put this in another tag called span and set an ID, call it a name. As soon as I use the Zoho Creator JS, I can use Zoho API functions. This is a default jQuery script to initialize script tags. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. This function zoho.creator.init initializes all the Zoho API related functionalities for us. We can write all our code right here. This is the one I'm talking about. So we can get the query parameters that we pass to the HTML page and store it in a variable. So we copy this script, run it here. This get query params returns the value in an object format, like a map value. This will be the HTML pages parameter. For example, I am going to define it as name. And this is anything that we will give, something like Zoho. Now, I need to get this name value and replace world with this name value. This has an ID name. I'll use jQuery's selector function, id name dot text of query params dot name. After we completed our script, we need to compress this as a package and upload it to Zoho Creator Server. Let's see how to do that. In the install CLI page, if you scroll down, they have these two steps. First, you need to validate and then you pack it. I'll let me stop the server, validate it. It has passed all the validation rules and then we pack it. It will compress the entire project into a zip file and then put it in a dist folder in our project. So if I look at my folder structure, I'll see a new dist folder and here is my zip file. Go to my application, settings, and then in settings, we have the widgets here. Click on create. Here is my zip file. I'll upload it. Okay, so this is the index file. That's the entry point. We have only widgets.html. We can enter only one file, so that will be forward slash widget.html. All right, now we have created our widget. It's time to use it in our HTML page. Click on widgets and I see that hello widget here. I need to add the parameter, remember? So we can dynamically accept variables. I'm going to add the parameter name. It should match the value we have described in a script. Only then it will work. So if I access the application now, 
it's displaying hello world let me add name as zoho and access it it says hello zoho if i say hello google it will say hello google i hope you find this video helpful i'll post this project folder to a github repository and then post the link to the project as well as the help links if you have any questions please let me know thanks for watching